Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be uncovering some amazing hacks that you're able to use on your Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. But make sure you stay tuned through the end of this video so you don't miss any of these nine amazing hacks. Now starting off with the first hack, we will be talking about the single tap mode. So what you wanna do is pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, scroll down just a little bit more, and this is where you see accessibility. Now inside of accessibility, just scroll down just a little bit more and you'll see the option of single tap mode. Now once this one is activated, turned on and showing blue, you're able to use a tap instead of a swipe to respond to alarms, alerts and incoming calls. So now if you are to receive a phone call, instead of you swiping to either answer or reject, all you have to do is a simple tap to either answer or reject, same thing with alerts and alarms. Hack number two is the transparent lock screen. And what I mean by the transparent lock screen is that when you head over into your lock screen and when you get notifications, instead of having a little box behind it, you'll actually have it being transparent. So it actually looks pretty cool. Now to turn this on, you'll pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and you will scroll down to where it says lock screen and security since it is dealing with your lock screen. Now below there, you're gonna go right over here where it says the notifications, and you do wanna make sure that this thing is turned on with that little toggle. And then inside of here, this is where you can change the transparency. So you can actually see right up over here how if you are showing your notifications with a huge little rectangle in the very back, um, it's not really transparent. And also you can see right here that you can either hide the content or not. So right now you can see exactly what is the application, you know, maybe who is it from and also what did they say. Now, if you don't want people to read what your text messages states on your lock screen, you can easily hide the content. Or if you don't even want it to show the little hidden content, you can actually make it to where it's only the icon itself. But to kind of show you what this kind of looks like here, um, if you were to move this thing over and make it transparent, then every single notification that comes through will be transparent like this. And then you can see the full image behind. Now also what you are able to do is you can change the text color if you want it to be reversed or not. So right here, because of my image, there's a lot of black that's kind of going on right around there. So it's harder for me to see the transparent text message. But if you do the auto reversed of text color, it might be a little bit easier for you to see. Now the only thing to keep in mind is your image for the back background will obviously be different than mine. So this is where you do want to change it if you want it to be the auto reverse color or not. Also, how much of a transparency do you want to be behind it if you do want to see just a little bit more? And also, I just highly suggest just to hide the content. You don't want some random person or stranger to see exactly what your text message says. So you might as well have it as a hide content. Now, hack number three is playing with the Dolby Atmos. So if you know, Dolby Atmos is what gives you the stereo sound, which is 140% louder than the previous generation Samsung Galaxy devices. Now, sometimes when you're watching a YouTube video, maybe it's a movie, or also if you're listening to music, you wanna change the way that the audio is sounding without interfering of what you're doing. Now, all you have to do is pull down the notification panel twice, and you'll see the option for Dolby Atmos. Now, if you actually click on the word itself, it'll open up a quick menu without interfering fearing of what you're watching and you can change it to music voice, movie, or auto. Now I suggest to click it on either movie or music, depending on what you're doing. And if you are listening to a podcast, definitely put that thing over on a voice and you'll see a huge difference. Now, the reason why I'm talking about going in and changing it right there is because you can see that my video is still playing. But when you pull this thing down twice, a lot of times when you press and hold on a setting, sometimes it'll also stop your video or sometimes it'll put it down and make it very small and minimal. But because I don't really want to interfere of a whole bunch of stuff that's kind of going on. It's super simple that you can also pull it down with two fingers, hit on the word, change it really fast, be done. And then now you are experiencing and living and loving your video or music all over again. Hack number four is playing with the always on display brightness. So right here is the always on display. Most of the times it's always on default of auto, but let's say that you wanted to manually change the brightness of what this looks like. This is how you're able to change these settings. You'll pull down the notifications panel. You're gonna click on the settings icon. Then you're gonna go down here where it says the lock screen and security. Underneath lock screen and security, you'll have the option right here for always on display. Now when you click in that little option right there, this is the one that you want to toggle off for that auto brightness. And then you can change it if you want it to be pretty much really low, medium, high, and then extremely high. And so if you wanna save just a little bit more battery throughout your entire day, um, then you're able to put it right in this little area here. This one right here might be really hard for you to see if you walk outside or a really bright room. This one's really not so bad and you're able to see it at times that you would like to, as well as you are going to save a little bit of battery life. 
Now this next hack will be playing with the camera. So if you get into a situation where you wanted to change a little bit of the brightness, but not by going so deep in the settings of your camera, but you still want it to come out extremely good, you just head over into your camera, move it away from the auto, and then this is where you can switch it to pro. Now once you're inside of the pro mode, you can see here that it is pretty dark inside of this little camera from what is being seen here. But when you choose on this second icon in, this little square, this little rectangle right up over here is going to be where it says f2.4 and now f1.5. This is actually how you're able to change the aperture in this phone, which this is the first Samsung device that has dual aperture that is built in. So if you ever run into a situation where you just need to have a little bit more brightness, or maybe you're at a concert, there's a lot of lights coming in and you want it to kind of look just a little bit better, a little bit more defined without being blown out, change that aperture to an f1.5 from that 2.4 and you'll have a much better image. Now, hack number six is making sure you take full advantage of the entire screen of the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. Now, the aspect ratio of these newer phones are a little bit different than what they used to be in the past. Now, if you open up your settings and then you click on display, then right below there, you're gonna see where it says the option of full screen apps. Now, once you click on full screen apps, you can see all of the apps in your phones or the ones that you are able to configure. Now, let's just say we go to all apps. If you scroll all the way down, you're gonna notice that all of these here are automatically turned on. A lot of these are also turned on, but a few of them you know kind of sprinkled in there is turned off now once you turn these things on then you are able to get that full experience of the full entire screen now just as a demo and an example of exactly what i'm talking about let's say that we turn off the one for the amazon alexa now if i hit um, back in my home and i go right over here and i go inside of the alexa application you can see right here that there's a little bit of space that's just not fully using the full entire screen now instead of me going over through all of these applications and clicking on tap here to fill the whole entire screen which now you can see that this is a much better experience in the previous screen all you'd have to do is just turn that thing on so once inside of here you can also see that it's turned on once you you do actually hit that little bottom little bar but if you want to turn up all of them on from the very get-go head over to the screen and make sure you toggle all of them blue now hack number seven does have two different steps to do it but the end result is making sure that your phone has the auto restart function turned on so in the middle of the night at least once a week it will just restart itself turn it off turn it back on because it's super healthy to do with any type of technology now the first thing you do want to head over into is your settings and then you are going to head down into your lock screen and security Underneath the lock screen and security, with inside of your always on display, you'll see this uh, little setting why it matters here in just a second. But go to your always on display and make sure you go to set schedule so it's not always on. So mine is set up to where from 7 a.m. to 1 a.m. this thing is turned on, which means that once it hits 101 a.m. all the way to 659, then my always on display is turned off, which means that I am not using my phone. There's no screen that is turned on. It's just either charging or just sitting there with a black screen. So now that you've turned this one on as a schedule, the next thing you want to head over into is the settings icon. And then you're going to scroll down to where it says the device maintenance. Inside of device maintenance on the very top right hand side, you have this option for auto restart. Now auto restarting or just restarting your phone automatically once a week, uh, basically your phone will be able to restart within one hour of the time you set. Any unsaved data will be lost and when your phone restarts. Now, as I said from before, it's very smart to do just like any computer and laptop, anything else, you always turn it off and restart it. Uh, now what's going to happen here, the reason why we wanted to change the always on display is because your phone will only restart when the screen is off, the phone isn't being used, the battery is above 30%, the SIM card lock is off, and the internal storage isn't encrypted. Now I have mine set up for 3 a.m. And if you remember with my always on display, it's only set up to where it'll turn off at 1 a.m. and come back on at 7 a.m. So choose a time frame in between there. And I just chose a Saturday. And so when you see this option here where it says the screen is off, then this literally means my screen is off during that time that always on display is off. So I hope that makes sense. When always on display is on, it means that the screen is basically kind of being used by something, um, but it's really nice to be able to turn off that always on display through a setting and then going through a schedule again to make this thing restart. Now, if you don't wanna play with all of that, just simply press and hold your power, hit on the restart button, and then you're still good to go. 
Now heading over to hack number eight, we will be talking about finding an application extremely fast. So here is a little shortcut called finder. And let's say that I'm trying to find an application that is called key ring. Once I type in the word key, it's gonna pop it up extremely fast and I'm able to get this thing opened. Now how you're able to turn this thing on and the reason why you might want it is if you pull up your application tray and you notice you have a ton of applications, even if you have these things in alphabetical order, sometimes you just don't wanna go through all of them or all those applications is actually set up on all of your home screens, then what you wanna do is go to your application tray on the very top right hand side you'll click on those three little dots and right there is where it says finder settings inside of here you just basically simply turn on this little toggle and it will create a shortcut for you on your home page or basically really inside of your application tray that you are able to move it over onto your home screen to find your applications extremely fast now this last hack is probably my favorite one on the list because i use it multiple times every single day and it's a way that you're able to switch between applications extremely fast so let's say that you're heading over and you're on YouTube, but then you want to check something out on the internet. So you hit your recent app button, you click on that Chrome, and then now you're able to check out whatever you wanted to check out. Or maybe this could be a text message. Now, let's say that you wanted to go back to that last application really fast, but instead of hitting on that recent app and then clicking on the other application you're trying to open up, just do a simple double tap of the recent apps. When you double tap that, it'll just go right back between the two applications that was most recently used. And it's actually just super beneficial and once you start using it, you'll know that you'll use it every single time. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, if you've learned anything or if anything in here has helped you, make sure you hit on that subscribe button right over here. Subscribe to all my videos. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of those future videos. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites, and I'll see you guys later.